Today I'm gonna try not to look ugly in winter photos. So to be able to not get an ugly winter photo, we're gonna find a photo concept. I'm gonna try to do my hair and makeup successfully so it lasts a little longer in photos. I'm gonna show you the outfit selection process to stay warm but not look super bulky. And then we're gonna confront will the real photo enemy, the weather. And see if we can successfully get a nice, worth publishing photo. So let's start. I officially run out of excuses to wash my hair. While I wait my hair to dry, let's talk about the concept. I'm going for winter wonderland vibes. Also since the whole thing it's about being exposed to the weather, I did some research on locations here in Chicago and I found this park that looks pretty cool. I've never been so that's gonna be interesting. And the color palette that I'm going for definitely will include white, brown and nudes. With that in mind, let's start with the makeup. So let's get a little bit closer. So I am going to be using a primer that it's kind of shiny, just to give a little bit of that moisturized look. You can see it has a little bit of a shimmer. Brandy time. I actually got this super cute mirror on Amazon and I've been obsessed with it. If you click the little button, it has some light. I am going to start with some foundation. Also tapping, 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 tapping. The foundation looks pretty much like it's part of your skin. Eyebrows can really change the way that you look and I'm sure you have seen photos of like older styles of eyebrows and so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch this video in a couple of years and be like, ew, why do you do that to yourself? But for now, I do them pretty, pretty simple and just follow my natural eyebrow and then make them a little bit fluffy later on. Concealer, we need some extra help. I'm just gonna go crazy with the bronzer. I discovered this liquid bronzer not that long ago and I have been obsessed with it. Since actually I'm not bronzed right now because winter, this kind of gives me a little bit of color. It's like, ooh, were you in paradise? No. Maybe. Ooh, definitely love it. Ooh. You can totally do your eyes and make them however you want, but in this specific case, I'm actually not really gonna do my eyes. I'm just gonna add some bronzer. And I know that baking can be a little bit controversial, but I actually really like it. So I'm gonna do it. Some mascara. One thing is that I am trying to use waterproof products. We're getting exposed to so many things like snow and wind, temperatures. So let's see if it works. We are makeup face. I am gonna pull some falsies, but very natural ones. If I use ones that are like really, really long, it's like cool for like an event I, if I'm in like control environment, but normally I will feel or have the sensation or something in the back of my head. Like, dude, you're gonna fly away into the wind and I'm not gonna be able to rescue them. Actually, I'm gonna put this here. It's almost dry though. So I am going to add some glue. Honestly, the one that I'm using is just so good. Look at that. It's like, and people are like, and lives on my mind. What's your superpower? Obviously, you can see that they're kind of fake, but I do believe that it looks super natural in real life. But I do see the difference between one thing and the other. Liner, liquid lipstick, and a lighter color. I do like to add some setting spray, especially when I'm taking photos outside. Even though that I was a fan of doing this for a long time, now I'm more towards putting it on a sponge. The dream is that this makeup actually lasts. Technically, according to theory, if we're mixing creams and powders, it should be better for the outside situation. We're gonna see how long does it actually last, if it actually lasts. There's many questions. So for now, let's go and do our hair. I blow dry my hair with this hair dryer and it's amazing. It is so fast. But honestly, the hair dryer, so right now the hair is straight, but because I'm actually gonna make it curly. And you may wonder, why do you do this if you're gonna make it curly anyways? But I'm not that crazy. It all makes sense. If I just make it curly the way it was, it tends to get very frizzy, but if I do this, it's way more forgiving. This lighting, it's terrible for my makeup. I'm going to do it with this hair tool. I'm going to do the same motion over and over again. It's 
So this is the end result and now we're gonna move to the outfit. I used to live in Florida where the weather is pretty warm but since I moved to Chicago I learned something and that is that the most important thing it's on the inside. So I do wear long underwear. I do want to follow the color palette that I had in mind. White nudes, brown, something like that. So I only really had white jeans. So I went on Amazon and found this white sweater that honestly, highly impressed. It is pretty, pretty soft and it feels super comfy. So I probably need to get it in different colors. I don't know if I look like an angel or if I look like the dude from a clockwork orange. Especially with snow, because I don't have a lot of experience with snow. I didn't want to wear high heels, but I did want to like a little bit of like extra. So this particular boots, they're super comfy inside. They have a little bit of a heel and they go perfectly with my color palette. This particular beanie, I absolutely love because it's a fuzzy in the inside and the quality honestly it's remarkable I've been learning a lot on hats because I used to wear them just to be cute in a photo but now it's a necessity and since we have that little detail put some brown camo of course gloves are super important and probably I should wear a scarf I don't know if I'm gonna wear this scarf in the photo but for sure I'm gonna wear it while we're getting to the location I cannot eat something like pasta because they have this outfit will be absolutely ruined, but I am hungry. I, ha I had, I had to take it off. I had, to, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna risk it. And now let's go to a location. My brother is gonna be taking my photos, but he has some back pain. How do you feel? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but with pain and everything, we are determined to fight the winter and not get an ugly photo. I forgot the microphone. <laughs> I just remember. One. Need to know exactly where we're going. I should have done a bigger Google search because now we are not clear. So we need to walk way more than another one. I like, like this S kind of thing. I think it will be nice for the photo composition. I'm gonna set up the tripods. I didn't have much time before the cold affected my body. My first reaction was a frozen photo pose, but I had to fight. I unbuttoned my coat to show the outfit without knowing that this decision will haunt me later. FYI, it's completely worth it to do it with a puffer, but with a fitted coat, it's not really that worth it. So I started my five poses routine. The poses are safe and simple, and I know they will look good. This will guarantee me that I will get at least one decent shot if I had to go quicks. My safe poses create depth, triangles, and small movements. After my first few photos, I started feeling more comfortable, and I was ready to take more risks. That's a terrible idea! I burn runny nose because obviously no. well, doing stupid stuff like opening your coat and and opening your coat <laughs> okay. are you good? The question is, did winter win and all these photos are ugly? Or the fight was worth it and we achieved a good photo? It's time. Let's review the photos. So what does it really mean to have an ugly winter photo? We need to clarify this. To be able to know if winter won or if we won. Uncomfortable body language because it's freezing. Bulky visual effect because it's freezing. Red nose because it's freezing. Out of control wind setting. And blurry photo composition. Let's start with body language. So the safe pose technique, it's actually a great idea for these specific moments. So you get something good right away. I talk about this technique in my book a lot, available on Amazon. So when we see the result, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. We get a point. The bad thing is the action shots. So even though the action shots make things way more fun, you're getting very exposed to the elements. So I was holding the snow, throwing it, getting in the snow, which compromised my feet. So all this make things complicated. Points for the winter. But a good thing is that if you leave all this stuff towards the end, 
then you're not gonna be exposed for so long. So that's actually a very good thing. So not just arrive and go crazy. Believe me, it's for the best. We get a point. Next, bulky. There are a couple good things about this outfit. Other things weren't that good, and it also depends on how cold it is. Here in Chicago, it's pretty cold. And if you're watching and it's colder where you are, I'm really sorry. But we already addressed that I used to live in Florida, so for me, this is really, really cool. The gloves were a disaster. They are not really good for this kind of cold. However, my hat was a complete success. And hey, last week I got frostbite, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Excellent choice. The shoes were pretty comfy, and they're absolutely amazing to wear when I'm around here in Chicago. But definitely needed better socks. Actually, I don't think that these boots will handle a lot of snow. They look like they will, but mm, I still love them though. My underwear, my underwear, long underwear, was actually a success. 10 out of 10. The coat actually it's very photogenic and the lines that it creates are very photogenic. So even though it's not the perfect coat for a crazy weather, when I mix it with my underwear, it did a pretty damn good job. The sweater, 10 out of 10, recommend. The other aspect is the red nose, and that goes very linked with makeup. I have to say that that was a success. Of course, I was there for like 30 minutes, so it wasn't that long, but my foundation performed pretty, pretty well. And even though that I had a runny nose, it wasn't obvious at all. So good job, foundation and setting spray. Out of control hair because of the wind. In this location in particular, I was next to water, which for some reason I didn't realize. You feel way more wind, but the hair stay in place pretty well. Although I do want to point out that my hair is very thick, so that's a little bit of cheating because it holds pretty well. But if you don't have the same type of hair, my recommendation will be to make the curls a little bit thinner and it lasts a little bit longer. Boring composition. We got some interesting things. We got the S which makes it more interesting. I also started playing with depth, so it's like putting an object in front of your subject to make things a little bit more interesting. So doing that with the trees doesn't look as bland and plain. The winter can get some points because I could not make it for any longer. So did we win the fight? I think so. I think we got some pretty cool photos. I'm 100% gonna post it on my Instagram. You know what? I would love to see your winter photos. Use the hashtag Bonnie Tips on Instagram so I can see your photo. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Love you. See you next time.